tax system that optimizes economic, economic growth doesn't drag on it. How far we'll get on that? Tough. Too many lobbyists sticking up for their own stuff. You know, some of which is legitimate and some of which is just not. Uh, but we're still going to try to do tax reform and show that that's an important thing. Here's what I mean by that. All taxes are not equal. If your income taxes get in the way of economic growth, you can, have, you can shift some of those, that tax burden to other areas that are not as big an impediment to economic growth. And so we'll go to the legislature with that. I don't know how far we'll get, but we're going to have a balanced budget. We are not, I am not going to leave the next governor in a position of where they inherit what I inherited, and we're going to stay ahead of it. We're going to make tough decisions along the way. But we're also introducing a lot of very exciting things. And many of you are aware of the autonomous truck that we had, autonomous vehicles, the fiber is being put in our roads so that not only can we have autonomous vehicles, but vehicles can communicate with one another. You're going to see more activity around sensors, around predictive analytics, very, very big and important part of the future. You know, predictive analytics is like they figure out what you want to buy before you even walk into the store. Well, this is deeper than that. This is how you can have life-changing things happen to you to keep you healthier, to get you better education. All these things sort of fit together, and we're going to be doing that. So even though we have a tough budget coming, it doesn't mean that we are... Uh, we're going to be boring or that we're going to just have green eye shades on. We're still going to think about great opportunities. And who knows, maybe this economy will pick up. And uh, maybe we'll have a little bit more money to put in things. Uh, one final uh, 